<laughs> no, I'm not doing that with you. I'm not. Today's movie is one that I have been looking forward to probably more than any other film in the past year, which is high standards to put on this movie's back, but it just has so many things that I love. Oh, and if I haven't been clear, we're watching The Iron Claw. But this movie has a phenomenal cast, and I love a good, like, sports drama. Wrestling specifically, I don't know how things are now, but I know that, like, what, 70s, 80s wrestling has, like, a really wild backstory, and just a lot of the behind the scenes was very chaotic and pretty unhealthy. And I love a movie that has a good vibe, a good like time period aesthetic. And based on the trailers, this movie has looked like an absolute blast in terms of all of those things, but it also looks like it's probably going to make me cry. I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but I know that the trailer made it look like one of the brothers dies. I think there's three brothers, four brothers, and they're all involved in wrestling and their dad teaches them or whatever. That's my kind of general basic concept of what we're getting into. I am so excited. Let's get into it. Thank you for being a friend. Ooh, that's a really cool shot. This must be dad, and that's why it's in black and white. Time period where I knew that wrestling wasn't real and I dogged on it pretty hard for a while because I was like, I don't get it. And then I just started understanding like, it is theater. <laughs> hey, Kevin, the Iron Claw. Kevin's got me in the Iron Claw. <laughs> oh. oh, this movie is so pretty. What is that thing attached to our home? I had the boy swap it out during the show. She don't seem happy. And he said, if, and he said, if I want to be a star, I need to act like a star. If I want to be a star, you got to act like a star. That's that's somebody taking advantage of you. Only way to beat it is to be the toughest, the strongest, the most successful, the absolute best. I will be the NWA World Heavyweight Champion. We've been through hell. And we're going to leave all that behind. Everything about this is beautiful and haunting. And I want to believe him, but... My God, the pressure. Damn, they really said, look at this body. Holy shit. Well, let's go for a run. Go for a run. Come on, let's go. Oh, no, I'm not doing it. I'm with him. <laughs> I'm staying in bed. Thank you. One, two, three, four. Did a little one die? Ever since I was a child, people said my family was cursed. Mom tried to protect us with God. Pop tried to protect us with wrestling. And would they have been any better off if they had followed mom's advice, if they had leaned into God a little bit harder? I doubt it. I love that comparison though, of like wrestling is their God, right? <laughs> Get him. <laughs> I still don't know if I understand how exactly winners work out, you know, like it does that have to do with popularity because if it's ultimately rigged, a winner is predetermined. Does it matter if you're the strongest? Kevin is the NWA Texas champion. David is about to make his ring debut. Uh, it's time for you to start thinking about what you're going to be. Now, we all know Carrie's my favorite, then Kev, then David, then Mike. What the fuck, Abby Lee Miller? <laughs> what the fuck? You can't be mad at a dad who wanted greatness and better for his family, but to put so much pressure on them to where if they're not successful by his standards and his definitions, then he won't love them. I talk to you about something. Baby, that's what your brothers are for. All right, mama. Rude. It's too tough on Mike, mom. You gotta say something. Please. She's Kevin, absent, that's isn't she? Him. 15 minutes. It's sad as shit, but also can you falter? Like if she was dragged into this world that she didn't want to be a part of, constantly promised like, we'll hit success, we'll be rich, blah, 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 blah. we'll have the lifestyle that you want and she never got it, then like you would probably withdraw at some point too. Oh, is Mike in a band? Honestly, good for him. I'm starving. Uh, can we got burgers on the way? We got food in the cooler. I'll eat a burger with you, little brother. Come on. They've built like this dynamic so quickly. Like he's baby brother. <laughs> this is exactly what I meant when I said I want a like time period vibey piece. The aesthetic, bitch. The soundtrack. I love it. Boy, oh boy. Do I have something special for you to Can we just 
do that again from yeah. time. One of my favorite things to go watch in terms of wrestling specifically is these old interviews. They were a little sketchy on the outsides, like off the camera, you know? But oh my God, they're so funny. It ain't gonna be all roses. Fuck. <laughs> David, I hear you. Stop. I didn't say anything. But his partner still remains a mystery. I got something special for that the hometown crowd fans are really gonna love. Uh, we're flubbing it. You've been shooting your math up, shooting your math, shoot. It's so easy, you get up here and do it there. Yeah, I mean, I'd love to, but I'm kind of ruining the surprise. Right? Oh, he's his surprise partner. Fight him back, give him a body slam, and elbow drops. And I'm gonna go straight up top, so don't leave me there too long. Mm -hmm. And then the claw? Right, yeah. And then the claw. <laughs> See, this is what I'm saying. Like, it's fucking theater. It's rehearsed. It is planned. And I don't mean to shit on it for that either. I just am curious about how, like, how does one strategize becoming the best of the best? Because other outside factors have to determine that. So you can't promise anybody, like, oh, if I lift enough weights, if I run enough miles, we'll be rich and famous. <laughs> There's the iron claw. I love it though. Can I get your autograph? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Did you uh, want my brother sign? No. Okay then. Ask her out on a date. Your folks not teach you how to ask questions. Like what? You know, who shall I make this out to or? Would you like to get a milkshake? Would you like to have a drink with me sometime, Pam? No. She cute, she charming, yeah. I'd fall for her. Can you just explain that to me? Cause, and I'll just fake. Fake? You move up in any industry based on your performances, right? Mm -hmm. Promoters keep you moving up if you do well based on your ability and on how the crowd responds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, thank you for the definition, the explanation. I've been wondering. <laughs> well, I want to be a vet. I want kids. I want my own practice. So she said, bitch, I know exactly what I want. Everyone could come live with us, all my brothers, their families. Okay. You have oldest brother syndrome. Yeah, you want to take care of everyone. When I was five, my big brother, Jack Jr., he died. Oh. He just wasn't there to play with one day. Oh. Oh. I'm so sorry. Damn, some nurture is exactly what this boy needs. Well, you never heard of the curse of the Von Erics? <laughs> no. My dad changed his last name to Von Eric, which was my grandma's last name. His family had all sorts of tragedy. I don't believe in curses, and I don't believe in love. I love her, but I also am insanely nervous now. I'm pretty sure one of the brothers dies. Your first match will be a non-title fight, but if you put a whooping on, you will become the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. I got close many times, but they always robbed me at the last minute. You can be the one to bring it home for us. Okay, daddy, let's not misplace our dreams onto our son. At a point, your children are no longer a person. They're an extension of what you wanted and, and didn't get. Oh, I love that. I love that. <laughs> Kevin, 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 Kevin. Now this is an untitled fight, but it is a tremendous opportunity for Kevin. And he delivers a big blow to the midsection. Not he said, listen, I'll let you beat me, but you gotta let me get some Hits in. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> he said, "Take my ass." <laughs> a vicious tactic from Race. Oh, and he he tosses Kevin over the top rope. I hope he doesn't do it. And he does. Harley Race put to that concrete floor. Kevin is. Hello, Kevin. Isn't he supposed to get better? Hello. Yeah. Oh. This is the showmanship, right? I'm not crazy, right? <laughs> like, how do you get people to support you more and care about your wins and losses more? You create ri risk, right? Kevin spins out. Go, Kevin, go. Go, Kevin, go. The ref cautioning, but he doesn't want to hear it. We showed you what we're made of. Right, you Kevin's not the one for the words so much, but brother is. You are the past. 
We're the future of this sport, so you keep on running. And he will fight you anywhere, anytime, for a fair shot. It's so fucking good. It's so silly, the melodrama, bitch. You were long getting up. Just never hit the floor that hard before. You gotta take it and get up. Okay, dad. I physically, I just couldn't move. Shit, so it was real. Did I do enough to get my rematch? Of course you did. We'll see. But you were incredible out there. Why didn't you let me talk? It's okay if we have weak points, Kevin. Yours is clearly having the microphone in your hand. There's our boy. There's the face we've been waiting for. And can you blame me? Mm -mm. Is he into the wrestling thing too? Because clearly he's Olympic. Olympicking. Oh, is this like roster announcement or whatever for the team? In my judgment, what we are doing is preserving the principles and the quality of the Olympics, not destroying. <gasps> oh, a steroid thing. For the Soviet Union and its government. Oh. And I hope recognition of a grateful nation will at least partially make up for the sacrifice that you'll have to make this summer. Oh, Olympics are canceled. I can't say at this uh -oh. moment. Ours will not go. Strike two of the curse. So strike one is their brother dying. Strike two is Lip not being able to go to uh, the Olympics. God, if if Papa somehow puts this on him as his own failure, where like it's so not related to him or his ability or his talent, it's not his fault the Olympics got canceled. So he's not a failure. But I'm nervous Papa's gonna make it look like that. Sorry, it didn't work out, Pop. Me too, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're so cute. No one could ever catch you. Yeah, there is literally always competition. You gotta die for them, Mike. Papa, y'all just having some fun. Chill out. That's why you're the best linebacker in the state, Jerry. It's hard to be mad at him. He clearly has a deep, deep love for his family, but like the emotional trauma that that would have to do to that family is. Hey, how's the music coming, Mike? Mm -hmm. Musical like his father. When I first met your father, he was classically trained on the clarinet. Wow. Well, decided there was no future in music. You can have more than one passion. We ha we actually have a gig. Well? Yeah. Michael, that's great. When? Well, it's tonight at UT Dallas. Oh, you're too young to set foot on a university campus on a Saturday night. What? The answer is no. Fuck you, Mom. Please tell me that nothing bad's gonna happen after this. Right? <laughs> Look at him. Let him have his little dream too. Roman candle just waiting for the boy to I support. I support. Also obsessed with how much the brothers love it. Like how much they love each other is so endearing. I love your family, kid. They are cute. Hurry up and get married, y'all. <laughs> oh. Oh, we tr we hooking up? We hooking up in the truck. So we're gonna, gonna get, get pregnant tonight. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever? Why? Why would that be a problem? I love this. The black silhouettes of their faces. Never. Not never. <laughs> oh, Kevin, you sweet thing. <laughs> She said, what is the problem if I have it? What's it matter if I've been with somebody? And he's just like, no, it's just, it's just me. <laughs> I don't know if you've been thinking about your future, but you should think about wrestling. Now I wouldn't wish wrestling on any of you. Okay, lie. Gaslight harder, Papa. The world keeps taking from us and I'm sick of it. I want you to join your brothers in the ring. Carrie, I, I need you to complete my dream for me. I, I would, would never, never wish this on anyone, anyone though. Papa, you making me mad with that bullshit. Oh shit, it's a three-man team now. All right. I love it. So this is love. Mm -hmm. Oh, winner! The NWA World Six Man Tag Team Champion, Kevin Perry and David Von Erich. WCCW is the best in the business. The Von Erichs are the best in the business. <laughs> David Von Erich will be the next NWA World Heavyweight Champion. What? Starting with Kevin, then Kerry, then Mike. Okay, well, babe, Mike's got bell bottoms on. <laughs> Boys, sure he doesn't mean me first. Pops make mistakes like that. Is there a problem? 
Yes, there's a there's a huge problem, Papa. You, because they can never ever be good enough. Do you really believe that if they brought home that belt, that it would be good enough for their dad? No way. No way. We are finally getting a world heavyweight title shot, and they want it to be you, David. You've been chosen. You earned it. I'm pissed for them. Are you up for it? Of course I am. Yeah, because is there another option? Oh! <laughs> Put your love and dreams out, baby. Begging you. <laughs> I love everything about this. Who is it? Well, we got just some stomach grabs. Uh, David. Also, that's blood. It's just a bug I picked up on the road. Don't worry about it. Here we go. You need to rest. You think it's gonna slow down when you become world champion? That's what I'm saying. There's no end. There is no end to it. I didn't take it so well. You jumped me and all. The thing is, I didn't even really want it that bad. None of you do. I just love being out there with you guys. This shit is so sad. Like, ugh, I love the relationship of the brothers. I'll be pretty happy to focus on my family, though. Turns out this is a shotgun wedding. Oh man, that makes me so happy. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> I love them so much. I do fear very deeply that that might be our last happy moment for a while. Pa? I'm, I'm, I'm a cry, like I can already feel myself. What? He died in his hotel room in Japan. A ruptured intestine. Being pushed too fucking hard. Papa, being pushed too fucking hard. Take those sunglasses off. I don't want to see any tears. Oh my God. Oh my God. The Lord decided it was time for David to move. Their Papa is so damn toxic to their emotional state. Don't cry. And also you don't get to put it on the Lord's shoulders because it's convenient for you. Sir, it's on your shoulders. And you know the dad's just gonna... All right, who's next? Kevin, it's you, you're up. We need that belt in our house. David didn't die for nothing. It's hard to see clearly in this dark moment, but we cannot let this tragedy define us. There it is. It took about two seconds. We still have a chance to bring the World Heavyweight Championship home. This fucking dog shit attitude, I'm gonna be... I'm mad. I need it to stop. <laughs> I'll do it. I can do it too. You don't have to. It's my match. No, I deserve it too. Whoa, 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 whoa. You are the oldest, Kev, but Carrie's been getting the most heat lately. Oh my God. Oh my God. We're gonna flip a coin. It's the only fair way to decide. That's bullshit. Oh, I love that. And it's just gonna show us who's in the ring. Ooh, I love that. What a wild way, like, way to build the narrative structure of this story to focus entirely on Kevin and at the forefront of the story and then have it kind of spin out of control where the other brothers are taking the victory moment, so to speak. I love it. That's such a good way to do it. I think it probably helps emphasize how like unfair this is and how it's it's not any of their dreams specifically. It's, you know, it's their father's doing. And yeah, yeah, maybe somewhere along the way they've started adopting that desire to have this like wrestling success, but it comes directly from their father. And while they have individual journeys along the way, like it is their father's journey. You know what? I think I'm going to go for a ride or something. Yeah, be careful. You were great today. What if we didn't drink beer and then be all depressed in the dark and then go for a motorcycle ride? What if we didn't do that? Is something going to fucking happen on the motorcycle? I also love this. They're taking their turns, like sitting alone in the dark with the belt because it both affects them in that shitty way. Like there isn't a positive light of the belt for them. I hate this though. Is he doing it on purpose? Get me out of here. Get me. Okay, so he's not dead. He's just hurt. And here's the question. Was he just trying to get out of wrestling or was, did he want to be done done? <gasps> oh my God. Oh, oh, that reveal was so good. That was so haunting. You have to stand tall, use your high. Twist it again, make it mean something. Why are we pressuring Mike to enter this world? This shit doesn't bring your brother back. This shit doesn't bring Carrie's leg back. <laughs> 
his heart's not in it. Like, you can't half-ass the theater of wrestling, right? I feel bad for Mike, I'm, but I'm like pissed. I'm like, what the fuck did you expect? Um, we completed the surgery as planned. What? Mike's temperature skyrocketed. We believe he suffered toxic shock syndrome. Are you fucking kidding me? How? It was a routine shoulder surgery. Well, it's rare, but it happens. Well, I believe in curses now. This is back-to-back -back trauma. We're all just so excited that Mike pulled through. So what's the time frame for your return to the ring, Mike? No. I uh, know I'll be back. No, sh fuck off with this shit. He's gonna be back in the ring in no time. What is this nightmare? I'm deeply regretting being like, mm, this movie talked about a curse and we haven't seen anything yet. And now it's like, okay, well, slow it down because I've seen too much. <clears throat> don't you, don't you go for a run, baby. <sighs> It's really hard to go from the first half of this movie where, you know, each brother had a pretty distinct personality and they were all so happy and connected to each other. And now they are like hollow shells of themselves and they are completely detached from each other. I'm scared, Mom. God loves you, Michael. There is nothing to be scared of. Everybody wants me to be David, but I can't replace him. It is so upsetting to me that he was like, I'm scared. And she said, don't worry, God loves you. And it's like, bitch, <laughs> help your son. <gasps> no, 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 no. I don't want to watch this movie anymore. Ah! Be fucking done with it. It's destroying you, all of you. I see how much pain you're in. Maybe this is God trying to tell you to slow down. Oh, Jesus Christ. Come out! Come out! Boy, their papa did a number on them. I'm going to a better place. I can't watch this family go through more shit. I really, I just, like, I don't, I don't think that I have it in me. Are you coming home tonight? I don't know. What do you mean? Where are you going? Um, I know how painful this is. But this, this doesn't work for me. Hey. I don't want him to get it. Oh. Come home. I can't. He's not gonna take care of his family because he thinks he's gonna put the curse onto them? I just, I just feel, feel empty. empty. It is so hot! <laughs> when you're looking like Ric Flair. <laughs> I am the world's heavyweight champion because I am the greatest wrestler alive today. I think I genuinely believe that Ric Flair is going to win. Listen to me talk while I'm out here. I love this, bitch. <laughs> you take the ups and downs. If you're a real man, you never go down. You just stay up. What do we think collectively? Do we think Kevin will win? I just don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. This show doesn't steer away from like the staging of it all. Like that was just blatantly like, boy, he's not hitting it. Well, I don't want to get my hopes up. Wrestling can't be the reason for a high point in this movie because it is it is too much to blame for what has happened to this whole family. Winner by disqualification, Rick Flair. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't. Oh, Kevin. Oh man, you look great. Nice. Let's get a drink. Oh, I'm, I'm good. Thanks. Ric Flair is not your real enemy, y'all. Cut it out. Hang on, I'm just gonna have to... <laughs> Are we going back home? Please. See? That, this is good, because wrestling can't be the solution because it is the reason for all of the problems. So yes, making the family be the bright spot at the end is so smart because that was what always mattered. I think we need to cut down again to one show. The numbers just haven't been there since Kerry went to the WWF. Oh, Kerry's still wrestling? He wants to buy us out. I didn't give you the company so you could turn around and sell it. I need to. Think about my family. It's good for you. Good for you. If you sell, you can forget about stepping through these doors again. Fine. <laughs> Fine. I didn't make nearly what it says I did. I did what was right all along. Oh, Papa was also really stealing money from his sons. Good. Yes! Atta boy, Carrie. Look at your uncle, boys.
don't you dare, don't you dare be like, look at your uncle, look at how amazing he is. Not in front of their father and in front of your other son who you always raised to be in that spot of the limelight and then you took it from him. You took it from him. Good, good, you still up? Well, I'm in some hotel in Dallas. Why didn't you go home? You okay? Carrie? No, I'm scared, man. He's not gonna do something to himself, is he? I'm pain. I'm pain all the time. I'm fucking deformed. It takes too much to hide it. Then I'll give me a new contract. Babes, wrestling is the curse. I got nowhere to go. I got no one. No, I need family. Just come here. No, I can't. I can't let your boy see me like this. Stop being stupid. You can't be fragile. You can't cry. You can't have emotions. You are only strong. Like, oh my God. It's just awful. I can't imagine being this like distraught and feeling like you don't have a place in the world and also thinking that you can't let anybody else know that you feel that way. Hello. Dad, Dad, yeah, I just talked to Carrie. And he's in a pretty bad state. He's not gonna do anything, is he? You boys need to work it out between yourselves. Oh my God, that breaks my heart and it also makes me so mad. Now what's going on here? fuck is going on? <gasps> no! No! Carrie! Did he shoot himself? Fuck mother! Not with the new gun. I told you to look Punch out him. for him! No. You didn't take care of- Fully in the right for this, yes. He called you! And you didn't help him! <gasps> you- Asshole. I don't want him to kill him, but like also... Maybe? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Carrie. I don't know what's on the other side, but I can't be here anymore. Tonight I walk with my brothers. I can't believe I really <laughs> started this movie out thinking only one brother died. Hey. This might make me cry and make me very happy. I'm very sad at the same time. <laughs> hey, Mikey. <laughs> Oh, and not them having all their like best shit. Like he's got his guitar. He's got his wrestling belt. World champion of the afterlife, huh? Hey, where's Jack Jr.? <laughs> oh, he died when he was real little. Oh. Be my oldest brother, Jackie. Uh. So nice to meet you. No. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that with you. I'm not. Thank you, though. I appreciate that. Sentiment. I'm not. Thanks, Kevin. No, I'd love for you to stay on wrestling. Oh, he sold? Good. Your dad called me out to his ranch. Tried to intimidate me out of buying this from He's lost all but one of his children, and he still can't fucking let it go. That man might be plagued worse than any of them. What are you doing? Painting. What's for dinner? I didn't make anything. Good for you, bitch. Papa still doesn't get it that no one around him and his family has been able to have a life because they have had to have his. Damn, it's sad that they finally have all this land and he can't have his brothers there. Oh God, stop. See, see. <laughs> you okay, dad? Lee, I'm sorry. Yes, you change it. You show your kids that it's okay to cry. It's okay, dad. You can cry. See? Everyone cries. <laughs> Do you think you know why you're sad? I guess it's because I used to be a brother. We'll be your brother's dad. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> in 2009, the Von Erich family was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. To this day, they are considered one of the greatest families in the history of wrestling. Kevin and Pam have been married for over 40 years. They bought a ranch and everyone came to live with them. <laughs> All four children and 13 grandchildren. Oh, that could make me cry. That's so nice. I need a minute. Oh my God. My God. Well, that hurt just about every fiber in my being. I knew it was going to be sad. I didn't know it was going to be sad to that extreme. And also true. I just can't imagine that much devastation for one family. But I am so happy for Kevin and Pam that they like clearly went on and had a fabulous life. I mean, I think it had everything that I expected it to have in, in the scope of, you know, sports drama, in the scope of aesthetic timepiece vibes. Just, it crushed everything. And I think it did a really good job of containing itself to its story. I think with things like this, a lot of the times it can get muddied down by outside concepts like 
Yes, we had Pam and their home life and how it went from like happy to bleak to happy again, but it wasn't like too much. You know, it didn't muddy the story. It didn't detract from the story. We didn't spend too much time focusing on them when the heart of the story was on the brothers. I think that's always my biggest disappointment with movies like this where they kind of get distracted with other side stories. This could have dragged really easily and I think they did just enough of everything to have a pretty firm understanding of what relationship meant what without losing steam. It was great, but I am sad. 